For this video, we are taking on the shaft of Sola on Master Difficulty for Return to Clockwork City. This time we're going to choose Play as Lana. This is one of those encounters where they provide the decks. Uh, this particular one, they provide you two choices. We've already done one video for Swims at Night, so we're going to go ahead and pick Lana F, dive right in. The encounter, if you've already seen the Swims at Night video, is exactly the same in terms of what you need to do to win. You just have to survive for 10 turns. Uh, we are still given the Elixir of the Defender. They start with additional cards. Uh, that is not helping us. That's not helping us a ton. It's a little bit better. Uh, they start with the extra cards because of the spider workers. And that's it. We have to survive for a lot of turns and see where we go from there. We're going to go ahead and just pull this off for now. Wow. A couple of gear works right out of the gate, huh? That sounds like a plan for an Arbutus. Let's go ahead and pull this off. If you get the opportunity to get rid of the spider workers and things, uh, it's totally worth it because one, hitting the health doesn't really help you, and two, they do run fabricants. Um, the big bad wolf, if you will, uh, in this particular one is actually the hulking fabricant. So it does have the potential to create a giant 8-8. It's just going to eat the 1-1s. One no, it does not. I am surprised. Well, Journey is not going to really help us, so that was kind of a whiff. It's actually an incredibly disappointing whiff. But alas, is what we have to work you with. You call it theft, I call it learning. Away with you! Alright, our hand is not that great. This will only trigger when they're drawn on our turn. That is also not great for us. Not great at all. So we're, we're not drawing actions, which is not helping our cause a whole ton here. Let's go ahead and drop the peddler. To make a purchase. So we can start trying to clear some of this up. Go ahead and drop a harpy to slow that down. I can't stand and pull this off the board. So all of the fat totems now have a bunch of extra stats and breakthrough. So the fat totems are not our friend at the moment. And now they're going to have even more health. Finally, that got uh, one trigger. One, I say. Hands off my wares. That can go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, our ice storm is rather sad at the moment, and we don't necessarily want to do it this turn because we do want to get two damage in here as well. Just pull a little bit more off. So our best bet is probably throwing a lightning bolt here and trading in. That at least pulls this 7 off. This will run this over anyway, so we don't even need to use our, our elixir of the defender. Um, yeah, that's looking like our best option right now. Just like we predicted. Well, that is <laughs> rather unfortunate for us. Uh, let's see if Moment of Clarity finds us anything amazing, like Immolating Blast. Oh, Paralyze could be potentially helpful as well. But Immolating Blast has uh, a chance of pulling a lot of damage off the board. So we're going to do that instead. That was a very fortuitous grab. So one of the biggest drawbacks 
of playing against the uh, the old Titan there is that at some point your direct damage removal doesn't Shall we begin? necessarily help you. Let's go ahead and do this as well, see what we can find. Both of those are neat. Let's go ahead and do this. Greetings. And let's go ahead and speed bump that thing, just because we want to protect our crystal tower crafter. Because we can use our last elixir charge on that next turn after making it a little bit larger. Which, after that hulking fabricant, looks like it's going to be kind of mandatory. So we do have Reverberating Strike here. Because thankfully this does not have Breakthrough. So now, uh, we can go ahead and use our Ice Storm. Will wipe the board for us, and we can go ahead and give this guard. And unless they've got a lot of burst damage, that should be it for us. Uh, the opponent's deck does run crushing blow, but that's about it in terms of reach. So there you have it. That is this go, encounter. This is a good one. Good luck, my friends. And there we have it. Yeah, uh, that's this encounter. If you choose the Lineth option, um, again, it's just like Swims at Night. You gotta use the tools they give you. You have to pull as much damage off the board uh, when you can. Try to set up, you know, good trades, good removal, etc., etc. And yeah, I'll uh, skip this cinematic so that I can say thanks for watching, and until next time, may you walk on warm sands.